This is a presentation of Welcome Malala, where we bring you fun and informative videos from within our community. In today's episode, Dave Jackson, me, of Dave Jackson Photography, will take you on a tour of the various installations of the Heritage Art, which is found right here in Malala. So, in driving around town in Malala, did you happen to notice any of the five Heritage Art sculptors installed? If not, or if you just want to know more about them, then hang on for this short tour and introduction to the Heritage Art Walk. There are five sculptures located around town. Back in 2018, the city of Malala applied and received a $15,000 grant for the project. After an interview process by the city's design team, sculptor Ben Dai was selected for this project. A map of the installations is available on the city's website. We'll start our tour at Clark's Park, next to the rodeo grounds. Our first stop is at the Basket Start Sculpture. Baskets were important to the Malala people, just as they are for us today, in that you can carry stuff in them. The material and art of each basket reflected the environment and resources available at the time. This sculpture was decorated with colorful beads. The sculpture is located at the southwest corner of Clark Park, at the intersection of Cole and Shirley Streets. Our next stop is at Long Park to visit the coyote and the grizzly. It symbolizes the story of how Malala people came to be. The story starts with Coyote headed toward Y East, or what we call Mount Hood today, when he encountered the grizzly bear. Coyote told Grizzly that he was making the world. Grizzly wasn't too pleased by Coyote's statement and challenged Coyote to a fight. Coyote, not wanting to fight the much stronger Grizzly, then counter-challenged Grizzly to a fire-heated rock-swallowing match instead. Coyote tricked Grizzly into swallowing the very hot fire rocks, while Coyote swallowed only strawberries in their place. Swallowing those hot rocks eventually caused Grizzly to burst open. Coyote took Grizzly's heart and it became the Malala tribe, becoming a great people and were great hunters. The park is located in downtown Malala on North Malala Avenue, right next to the fire station. Moving on, we find the Huckleberry Bush Sculpture. Huckleberries were an important food source for the Malala people, particularly during the winter months. The berries were carefully cultivated and dried for the winter stores, and in addition, the roots of the bush were used as herbal medicines. The Huckleberry Bush Sculpture is located at the Dennis Off Main, which is actually now on West Main Street. Take Hesse Street exit and pull into the lot for the safest visit. Tucked away off the beaten path is the Camas plant sculpture. These plants were an important food source for the Malala people as they were dried and cooked for their nutrients. Located in the far west section of the city, behind the Lumberjack Bar and Grill, and next to the Byway Bridge, which by itself is something to see if you've not been there. The canoe, otherwise known as the Platform Fishing Boat, has been installed in the green space in front of Bymart and O'Reilly's. Hey, did you know we had a park there? Well, anyway, platform fishing was common among the Malala people. The river was an important connection for trade and travel. The Malala people navigated up and down the river in flat bottom boats designed for the shallow waters and to minimize hitting rocks and bars. The sculpture is located on West Main Street in front of Bymart and O'Reilly's Auto Parts. For the safest entry, work in their parking lots. And sadly, we are now at the end of our tour. 
Our final destination is the river, a sculpture representing the importance of the water and the fish that lived there. The Malala people fished the river, which provided a substantial portion of their protein requirements. The city takes its name from the river, as its name from the people who inhabited this area before the settler era began. If you've not been up the Malala River corridor, it's definitely worth a visit any time of year. The river sculpture is located in Fox Park at the corner of South Malala Avenue and 5th Street. Thank you for spending time with Welcome Malala. We hope you enjoyed this episode and that you will come back for more and share with your friends.